Well, today we'll be talking about integrating integrated pest management. So farmers are faced with many different pest concerns that they have to contend with. There are insects that can defoliate the entire crop. There are weeds that can compete with the crop plants for light, moisture, and nutrients. And there are many plant pathogens that can cause disease epidemics that can spread throughout the crop. To combat any one of these problems, we can use integrated pest management techniques, that is, using multiple methods to try and control any one pest problem. For example, we can consider how insecticides may affect not just the pest, but non-targets as well. Pyrethroid insecticides can be used to manage certain pests, such as psyllids, leafhoppers, or ligus bugs quite successfully but their use can trigger outbreaks of other pests like aphids, thrips, or even spider mites. And that's because the pyrethroids kill off the natural enemies of these particular pests, allowing those pest populations to build up. Therefore, it's important to weigh the costs and benefits of different management tactics on the overall crop production. Another practice we can keep in mind is when we tank mix different classes of pesticides. The tank mixing is an efficient means to save time and money because we need to make fewer trips through the field. However, keep in mind that many of today's newer insecticides need to be absorbed into the plant in order to be effective. In contrast, protective fungicides are formulated so that they spread out across the leaf surface of the plant and this helps them to stop the spread of disease across the leaves. So if these materials, an insecticide that needs to be absorbed and a fungicide that needs to spread out, are simply tank mixed, the fungicide can actually interfere with the effectiveness of the insecticide. Therefore, we would want to add a chemical adjuvant that helps the insecticide penetrate into the plant surface to make the tank mix effective. Even more complex interactions can exist in agricultural systems. Pests such as aphids can breed and reproduce on a number of different weeds, including weeds like nightshade. And some of these weeds are also hosts for viruses such as potato virus Y or PVY, which is a devastating viral pathogen of potatoes and is actually transmitted by aphids. Therefore, if you have good weed management in and around potato fields, it can help contribute to improved control of pest insects such as aphids and insect transmitted plant pathogens by reducing the reservoirs for these insects and viruses. So in conclusion, remember to keep in mind the different approaches you can use to manage any particular pest, whether it's an insect, a weed, or plant disease. And then keep in mind how these different management techniques for one pest may affect management of other pests. So try again to integrate your different integrated pest management programs so that you'll be able to produce a successful, sustainable, and economical crop in the end.